Summer, don't do it. Heidi, stop this. Please, just think about what you're doing. OK, I'll think. Hey, it's good. <laughs> it isn't good. It's danger, humiliation, perpetual woe. OK, what is your problem with musicals? I don't have her. OK, I do. Yeah. Summer, you can't be in Dr Tempest School Musical. Why not? Because it's Dr Tempest. And it's a musical. OK, only one of those things is bad. It evens out. Both are bad. They're very, very bad. OK, in the old days, Transylvania musicals were fun. When they used to end with a riot and a batter to the death, that was entertainment. No, that was mob violence. <laughs> Look, Bobby's been bitten by the musical bug too. Actually, I've been bitten by a bug and I can't control my body. <laughs> Thanks for that. I'm just pleased it was an insect eating your brain. For a second, I thought you were going to sign up for the school musical. Please tell Summer it's a bad idea. You're going to sign up for the musical? Yeah. I want to play the lead. Me too. They sign up together. <laughs> Why is anyone signed up for the female lead? Last year I was magnificent, and this year I'm going to be superb. I've already written the reviews. <laughs> Let's hope that this year no one loses their vote towards for singing louder than me. Hey, Edwina. Yes. <laughs> Is serious overconfidence. Hey, I get a mention. It says I'm disappointingly lacklustre. <laughs> and another reason not to do it, Serena always plays the lead. Imagine what she'll do to you if you get her part. Yeah, but on the other hand, it's the school musical. Yeah, it's the school musical. <laughs> <laughs> You'll regret it. I won't regret it. I regret it. I regret everything. Please, please don't hurt me. It seems these days that you always want to hurt me, to eat me with your fangs and digest me in your bowel. We've got to be together. It's the only way. We'll make it till tomorrow and keep our love so foul. <laughs> Brilliant! I have heard enough. Summer, you are my leading lady. Oh, but I haven't auditioned yet. Neither have I. Do you see me complaining? <laughs> but... Don't worry, you will be perfect as Summer's klutzy, unpopular sidekick. What? Um, maybe Serena has a point. You, you should let her audition. Spare me your pity. Exactly. Summer, you'll need all your pity for scene 15. Don't waste it on her. was pretty cool. Let's savour this moment of triumph before the nightmare begins. Heidi, I have cast you as the spirit of despair. <laughs> and so it begins. <sighs> oh, I have to kiss the male lead on page 20. I didn't know that. And on page 21, 22... I have to kiss him for 35 pages. Yeah, it's the longest kiss in Transylvanian musical history. I didn't warn you about doing this musical. No, no you didn't. You warned me about doing musicals, in general. Summer, it's called I Kissed a Flesh-Eating Skeleton from Mars. Which bit stands out to you? Skeleton from Mars? For me, it's the kiss. It might not be too bad. It depends on who they cast as the lead. It'll be fine. Although, there is something worrying me. Can't quite put my finger on it. Something somebody said? 
I'm auditioning for the lead. <laughs> that was it. Ah, Summer, my genius prodigy, come sit by me. Let me bask weirdly in your theatrical aura. <laughs> uh, you, dog boy, perform. Use this. Kiss it. <laughs> um, could you kiss a ruthless flesh eating skeleton from Mars? How I long to feel your lips upon mine. Look into my eyes. Next. <laughs> that boy was pretty good. <laughs> Could you kiss a ruthless flesh eating. A ruthless flesh eating. A ruthless flesh eating. Ske a ruthless flesh eating skeleton from Mars. His hands come off. Do I carry on? Next. <laughs> <clears throat> Could you ever kiss a ruthless, flesh eating skeleton from Mars? <laughs> Could you? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm not feeling it. This mummy's not giving me anything back. Next. <laughs> no, there is no one else. Uh, maybe we should cut that character. <laughs> Don't be defeatist. We must simply lumber ourselves with the least worst of this diabolical shambles. Hey, that's me! <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Could you kiss a ruthless, flesh-eating skeleton from Mars? How I long to feel your lips upon mine. Look into my eyes, and our hearts will entwine. <laughs> Can I take a minute? This thought is so sudden. <laughs> when do I start? <laughs> Rolf. I have to kiss Rolf for 35 pages. Look on the bright side. What? Oh. I was hoping you'd come up with something for that. More your sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? You've got to be a dancing tombstone. I'm just worried for Summer. I mean, she shouldn't have to kiss such a dark, brooding beast of a man. <laughs> That's come out, Mum. Oh, you'll get mange, rabies. <laughs> Athlete's foot. Oh, it is such a long time since I went to the theatre. The music, the lights, the splintering bone. I hope you will be well armed for the final battle. Don't listen to the pickled walnut. There have been no musical death battles since the great jazz hymns disaster of 1934. Unbelievable. What is the world coming to when a brain in a jar can't watch children fighting to the death during a musical extravaganza? <laughs> It's political correctness gone here. Who got all the parts? Who got all the parts? I'm playing everyone. No, Jake, you're the prompt. I got all the parts and I'm the prompt. Oh, uh, Bobby, are you crying? Just with happiness. We're going to kiss Rolf. It's so wonderful. Maybe too wonderful. The happiness might kill you. And if not the happiness, then certainly Serena. <laughs> she doesn't look too angry. <laughs> Maybe she's coming round to the idea? Well, she's certainly coming round to an idea, but probably not the one you'd like. <laughs> At least she's keeping her distance. <laughs> Do you know what happened to the last person who tried to kiss Rolf? No. No one does. I was too careful. Well, at least she gave you a warning. She must be mellowing. <laughs> OK. What are my options? Limited. Of course, in the olden days, you just shoot Rolf through the heart with a silver bullet. Why a silver bullet? Werewolves are allergic to silver. Oh. Then again. Most people are allergic to being shot through the heart. Okay, so option one's out. What's my other option? 
Wren. <laughs> Before we bump into roll. You're a bit keen. I don't... Well, I just... Please let go of me. Ah, what a wonderful idea you've had, Summer. Let us start with the kiss. No! No, no, I wasn't. I just... Oh. <coughs> What's that? Breath freshness. It's just for the stink. I don't stink. True, technically it's the rancid meat rotting in your teeth. I like rancid meat. And I like remaining conscious. Excellent. The sparks are really starting to fly between you two. I can smell the tension. No, she's right. It is your breath. <coughs> and from the top. How I long to feel your lips upon mine. Look into my eyes and our hearts will entwine. <laughs> Minty fresh. <laughs> Nothing in the world can stand between us. Silver tungsten, is that going to be a problem? <laughs> Whoops. I know you had a pierced tongue. I don't know, I have a silver ear stud though. My lead man! Someone get rid of that stud. I can't have you poisoning the understudy as well. The understudy? Yes, Bobby. Bobby's the understudy? Not anymore. <laughs> I've just realised something. I know the script. The whole script. It's like I've learned something. What's it like? Amazing. There's things in my brain. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure I'd like that. <laughs> yes, freaky. I was awake all last night with knowledge happening up there. It's quite noisy. <laughs> right, so not kissing Rolf, kissing Bobby instead. Is that better, worse or the same? Bit of both, which technically adds up to worse. <laughs> Maybe it'd be okay, sort of kissing my brother. I mean, would that be so bad? Definitely bad. I think we should kiss now. For artistic reasons, which I'll tell you later. Bobby, do you think maybe this isn't such a good idea? No, it's a brilliant idea. It'll bring us closer together. We're pretty close already. Yes, but only as friends. I like being friends. Oh, me too. Friends is great. We'll just be even closer. <laughs> really close friends. Okay. Yeah. Friends. Sorry. Just being a bit silly. It'll be fine. Friends. <laughs> if you don't stop smacking your lips, I'll smack them for you. <laughs> I was alone, I couldn't see I was crouched down, eating a knee The years of loneliness melted away And I just want to say Summer, I love you, you make my life whole Summer, I need you, just give me No, a... no, no! <laughs> you said summer! Did I? Yes. Again. <laughs> Take it from the spoken section. Um, <clears throat> a carnivorous skeleton and a fresh, plump human. How could our love ever survive? Don't. Forget everything else. Just live this moment. This one sweet moment. Let us open our hearts to each other. Yes. 
You must. I love you, Summer. Calling me Summer again? I know. I don't <laughs> care. I adore you. I love you. I can't keep it in anymore. I keep a picture of you in my pocket. <laughs> it's not in the script. Bobby, I... Are you serious? I'm sorry. I just got a little... carried away. You know, I was gonna kill him, but I think this is better. <laughs> Where do you think Bobby is? Cowering at the bottom of a big hole, having plastic surgery and moving to the moon. <laughs> Has he always felt like that? I don't know. You'll have to ask him if you can find him. Don't worry. It's first night tonight. He's bound to turn up for that. There's not going to be a battle. Why are we here? I can't have a play without a leading man. Well, he isn't at home. I've been hovering outside his window, scraping my fingers down the glass for the past half hour. What are we going to do? The audience is waiting. I could go out and juggle my brain. You can't juggle just one thing. Yeah, you're right. What about my eyes? No need to panic. If Bobby isn't here, then the understudy will have to do it. Who is the understudy? Bobby. Oh, yes. In that case, I'm going to panic. Excuse me? No! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? To help my friend. Here. You're the lead. Congratulations. No! <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm a creepy weirdo and I carry a secret photo of you everywhere I go. It's okay. Look, I didn't want to tell you this, but I've got one of you two. You're just saying that to make me feel better, aren't you? Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> But the kiss. It's all right. I've given my part to Serena, so no awkwardness. We can just be friends again. Oh, great. That's a relief. I think if we'd have kissed, we'd never have been able to be friends again. And I wouldn't want to lose that. Not for anything. Let's agree never to kiss. On stage. For dramatic purposes. Ever. Deal. <laughs> Let's get you back on that stage. Hold on. I have to kiss Serena. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> You're here, just as you promised. How can it be started? This There's is no not destiny. But there was someone the who knows every line in the play. Here. Come to me, my sweet. <laughs> yes, yes. Hold me. Clutch me to your ribcage. Stop. My lines! They're not your lines, they're my lines! They're all my lines! Oh, come on! Can't we attack them? Kiss me. Ah! <laughs> you're revolting! <laughs> Quick! Get on! Uh, yes. Let us kiss. Could you kiss a ruthless flesh eating skeleton? How I long to feel your lips upon mine. Look into my eyes, and our hearts will entwine. Oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> what are we going to do? I think there's only one thing we can do. Mm, you're right. I 
guess what happened back there? When Summer gave up her part? Of course. She did it because we're friends. <laughs> Special friends. Perfect, true friends. Something tells me you haven't learnt anything from this. Absolutely nothing. Well, I was right. Musicals are great. Look how much everyone's enjoyed it. <laughs> I think next year I'll direct. <laughs>